Fellas, you know what I do. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day as a Runner. Let's just get straight into the grubbin. To start off the morning, you know we gotta have our cold brew. I've been loving this Trader Joe's cold brew concentrate and some regular almond milk. We're putting it in our Nutribullet blender. Um, I don't really measure it, but that's what it looks like. Also two ice cubes and a half a scoop of collagen. I use Ancient Nutrition, that's my fave. And now let's blend it up in our Nutribullet to get it nice and frothy and beautiful. This is called my collagen cold brew. I make it on my food Instagram all the time. It is so good and so frothy as you can see right here. I added a little bit too much ice this time, but just look at that froth factor. It is on fleek. Please try it out, you won't regret it. Time for breakfast. We're having pancakes today. I'm making it with Birch Bender's buttermilk pancake mix. About a third cup of that. We're using a scoop of my fave Veggie Elite salted caramel from MRM protein powder. This is the best vegan protein powder you will ever try, okay? Don't add me. Also using some maca powder to balance those hormones because you know as a runner, I need help with that. <laughs> now I'm adding in one egg and a bit of water. So the water is kind of to the texture that you like. If you like thinner pancakes, add more water. If you like them thick, add less water. But I add in like a little bit of water at a time just to get the perfect consistency. Because if you add too much, you can't go back. And unfortunately for me, I definitely added way too much water here. So right now I realize I'm like, whoa, Emma, you just made a mistake. But I had to go with it. It was way too thin, but we're gonna go with it today. I didn't want to add more mix, so. Using a little bit of avocado oil on the pan just to grease it up a little bit. Adding it to a probably a medium heat pan. Don't put it on high or else you're gonna burn your little cakes off and that's not fun. You don't want burnt pancakes. I make sure that mine are all the same size because I want them to look pretty on my plate as well. So here's a little time lapse of how they look. Eventually I covered it just to make sure it cooks all the way through. And now, once they start bubbling up like this, that's when you know it's gonna be time to flip, when it looks exactly like this. There are a few bubbles, the top isn't running anymore. Oh, look at that pancake, perfection. You know what, it's taken me a while to get here, guys, okay? Not to brag or anything, but I consider myself a pretty good pancake maker now. So basically, you're gonna do this with all your mix. I didn't film it all, because that's kind of boring, and I didn't want to bore you guys, <laughs> of course. So here's the finished product. Now we're gonna add our toppings one of the best parts I'm adding some chocolate chips you know I don't love chocolate but I do like them on my pancakes we're adding up some ground up PDX nut butter this is the best drizzly almond butter ever just look at it some shredded coconut and then I'm also going to add some dark chocolate chia seeds people ask me all the time what brand I use this is the salba chia salba chia chia seeds um, I don't even know if they sell them anymore but you can go check them out I'll link in my bio if I can and adding a drizzle of maple syrup. I don't like it super sweet, so I just add a little drizzle. Next up, it is time for lunch. My least favorite meal of the day, but I try to make it better with my avocado toast that I will be making today. I'm using some Ezekiel bread. I put it in the freezer so that it stays good for a while. And I'm also using one of the Trader Joe's teeny tiny avocados. It's the perfect size for the avocado toast. That way you can use both halves and you don't have to let one of the halves go brown in your fridge and never eat it. So there it is, you mash it up in a cup. That's so cool, Emma. Okay, now I am cracking two eggs and you know whisking them around. You can make the eggs any way you like. Sometimes I fry them, sometimes I scramble them. Today we're scrambling. So here is me scrambling my eggs. I like a soft scramble. As you can see, that's what I am doing here. I am just constantly mixing it. I literally, it probably takes like one minute, to be honest, to finish the eggs, and then I take it off the heat really quick. It'll still cook a little bit in the pan, but that's how it looks. And then now I toasted my Ezekiel bread in the toaster like the absolute chef I am, and I'm spreading the mashed avocado on top. Look at, she's thick. We like a thick layer of avocado. Adding the scrambled eggs on top, I like kind of split it into half. So they're, they're evenly placed on the toast. We don't want one toast bigger than the other. We're using everything but the bagel sesame seasoning from Trader Joe's. It's the best seasoning for avocado toast, okay? If you haven't tried it, try it please right now. Et bon appetit. I ate all my meals kind of late today, so I didn't have a snack. So we're straight on to dinner. We're making falafels. I'm using this Trader Joe's falafel mix, which is pretty fire, I would say, for a prepackaged falafel mix, and it's really easy to make. You add one cup of falafel mix in three quarters cup of water, and then stir it and then let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour. I added too much water, I think, so I had to let it sit for like an hour. 
But in the meantime, we're gonna be roasting up our veggies. Sweet potato, yummy, and more potatoes. These are teeny tiny taters from Brazil's. Oh my gosh, too many teas. Okay, now we're just gonna chop up our veggies. I These aren't veggies, this is potatoes. Are potatoes veggies? I don't even know. But I washed them, scrubbed them, and now we're chop, chop, chopping them up. Also some Brussels sprouts because you guys know that's my favorite vegetable and I eat it in every single one of, one of these what I eat in a day. I can't get enough. So I already put it on the baking pan, but now I'm adding the Brussels sprouts and spread them all out evenly and adding a drizzle of olive oil. I never used to do that and I realized life is too short to not use olive oil on your uh, roasted taters. It makes it so much better. So I topped it with salt and pepper, now I'm spreading it around, make sure it's all evenly coated. And now we're gonna roast it, 425 for a little bit, probably 15 minutes, and that's what it looks like. We cook these a little bit more before the falafel because the falafel takes less time. Now we're gonna shape the thickened mixture of falafel onto the pan in falafel shapes. We're gonna bake it at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes. It comes out looking like this, nice and golden brown, cooked to perfection. Look at that crispiness on the Brussels and the potatoes. Now we're gonna plate up the delicioso meal. We're adding our veggies to the side. That's honestly probably my favorite part of the day is eating potatoes and veggies. That sounds weird, but oh well. Adding the falafel, also adding this eggplant hummus from Trader Joe's. It's literally the best hummus on planet Earth. Go try some, please. And wow, look at that dinner. Filling, delicious, satisfying, and bon appetit. Thank you so much for watching today's What I Eat in a Day. Hope you guys enjoyed, got some inspiration. Follow me on my food Instagram, at OneCrazeFoodie. If you want more inspiration, recipes, meal ideas, treats, desserts, whatever you may find on that account. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, fellas.